Hi guys, okay so I decided I'd build a range extender for the DJI Phantom 3 standard remote controller and um, this is what it ended up looking like. Um, it's actually half of a plastic cup that I had. I halved it and I added foil to it. Um, so I'll show you guys the actual how-to video which is coming up right in a few minutes but I just want to say that after testing it, it actually worked. I was able to get at least a hundred more meters out of the drone itself. Um, I was a bit skeptical at first that it wouldn't have worked because there's three antennas inside of the uh, inside of the controller, and um, I thought that it would not work because I thought that the that this piece here that you're seeing the actual antenna was only for the video feed. But apparently, it, it, even if it is for the video feed, it was able to. Um, definitely project a little bit further out so um, i hope you guys enjoy and um, without further ado here is the do-it-yourself video to create this same range extender that you're seeing here take care enjoy please subscribe and please like and i'll see you guys again soon bye Alright guys, so heating up, trying to make a hole in here, just heat up this uh, screwdriver and we're going through. And it's a little bit cold so... And we're going to make the hole inside here, a little bit larger. We're trying to get this to fit the DJI drone, so the hole has to be pretty big. Now, so far, this seems to be the easiest way. This seems to be the easiest way to do it, though. But I hate to, to burn plastics, for those of you who know. Um, but you know, I have no choice at this point in time. So we need to burn a little bit more again. So one more try. Alright, one more time again and So you snuck in people to try and get this plastic out. Um, so yeah, what you see in here is the drone antenna and basically this goes to here like this. That's not bad. And what we're gonna do is Try to make this a little bit. We're gonna try to put foil in here to increase the signal. All right. So the rest of the materials we're using: Q-tip, some non-toxic glue that I have from a very long time. Hopefully it works, and a sheet of aluminum foil. So hopefully this will work. I'm going to try to get glue all over on the inside. I just use a pizza, you could use anything else I suppose. Um, can't remember where I got this idea from, but 
not rocket science. So you want to try to put as much glue as you could because you want to get it as flat as possible. So you notice again, edge right, the edge, hopefully this actually came on video because this will be really funny if it doesn't. Okay, cool, alright, I will put the shiny side. Please. So basically we have to just... And leave extra because you can always cut off that afterwards, right? So that's the idea. That's pretty much it, so... That is how it should end up thin. Okay. Here. And the more you can push this down is the better, right? Now because it's plastic, you know, have a little bit of yeah. And that's it. So now it's just a matter of controlling it so that it doesn't move, you know, out of place. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Not bad, right? Not bad at all.